Welcome to the Eagle class. Um, this time we're going to learn how to create a device for Eagle from a manufacturer's BSDL file and that's a uh, boundary scan definition language. Uh, most manufacturers provide these um, more so than you'll actually get a package from a uh, particular PCB software like Eagle, Altium it's more likely, or Orchid or Pads. Um, so first thing you want to do really is kind of go over to the manufacturer's website and take a look at the processor that we want to build for. In this case it's the LM3S9B96 which is an ARM uh, Cortex-M3 up to 80 megahertz. It's an awesome chip. It's a canvas, USB, OTG, uh, host, device, I2C, it has the, uh, or I2C, it has the uh, I2S interface for sound as well. Um, so anyway, um, Texas Instruments has been really good with us and given us a development kit and uh, given some chips, so we're actually making a board of this. Uh, one of the guys is making a uh, quadricopter Arco. Uh, he's using this chip and he's also going to be really annoyed when he sees this video because I made him make the chip by the long way, um, but at least now he knows how to do it. So let's go down, find the uh, uh, BSD out uh, file that we want, uh, which is right here. So we're going to use the LQFP uh, package variant. So hit download. I've already got it. So I'm going to flick back to Eagle. And I've saved it here. I'm going to go to libraries. Um, either create a new library, uh, use the NSL library or whatever library you want to use. I've already got a Luminary Arm uh, library. So I'm going to load that in. And just stretch this out. Um, the script actually is a little bit bigger than my capture area, so it's going to cut some of it off. So we're in the library mode, and uh, we're going to go to file, uh, so like run for ULP, which is the user language program. Skip down to make symbol device package BSDL, um, and that's where we want, we want to run. So make symbol device package BSDL. Hit open, and here is the uh, there's only just below it is just OK and cancel, so there's really nothing else below that's helped to. So you're not missing anything. Hit browse. Uh, select the BSDL that we downloaded from the website before and unzipped, and I did all that already. Um, and then we're going to open it. And here it is. So there's the actual BSDL file. And this is what the manufacturer uses uh, to tell for simulation programs and God knows what else to, um, to make their chips. And over here is the pins with the direction, so it's I.O., power pin, all that kind of nice stuff. Okay, so we are uh, not going to uh, create the package this time because we're using the LQFP100. Uh, we're going to use a quad style of layout and schematic, um, and then we're going to sort it by pads. And look, take a look at the package here. So this is how you would create a package. We're not creating a package this time, but if you were, you'd follow this. Uh, look at these here, these are dimensions. You get those dimensions either from a uh, BSDL file, but you should double check them against these, which are, uh, let's take a look here. So the physical one is going to be on page 13713. Okay, so there's your LQ, the D, D1, E1, E, it gives you the overall dimensions of it. Um, also pad spacing, pad sizes, those numbers are right here. 16, 14, 16. So when we go back to Eagle, we take a look, you'll see those numbers getting filled in somewhat. I happen to know there's an error in this and something doesn't get translated, which is why I'm not using the package. So after doing that um, and ignoring it, we're going to go over here, use package, select none, uh, and then we use LQFP100, 100 contacts, that's what you want to use. Uh, back to make, make sure that's up, make sure that's quad, quad, make sure we hit sort pad, and then hit OK. And off it goes. And there it is, that's it. Um, if you want to go through and check it, we can. Edit symbol. Um, okay, yeah, PD7. Let's bring up the, the uh, data sheet again. We're going to go and look at the. Here it is. PD7 is there on package 100. Flick back. Uh, yep, PD7 is on the top. P1, P0 on the right. Yep, they're all looking good. So that looks fine. So back into the device. There's the one it just created for us, even named it. You can check the um, pin layouts as well. Look at the package type. There they are, all nice and neat. There's 100. Uh, it's rotated around, so you can fix that if you want to. Um, or just rotate it in eagle. And so we just give it a description now. And uh, let's just take off all this junk and we'll call it the LM3S. Uh, 
9b96. Okay, take out the warning. And then just we'll take that out as well. So it's the uh, Texas Instruments. Uh, L -M I don't know why we have to put this so many times, but there we go. 9, 6. I put an extra 0 there, didn't I? Okay, and there's the source of BSDL file, so we know where it came from. You can make that a little neater, put that there. Um, you could even like cut blurb out and stuff from one of the from the website or something just to put in there. I do do that sometimes, so let's grab this. Copy that. Back into Eagle. Uh, paste it in, and it's going to be ugly because it's HTML. Uh, let's see. Uh, we want to use, uh, was it? I never remember. Page break or BR, I suppose. There we go. So fill that junk in. Ugh, doing HTML for text. It's ridiculous. There we go. But it is does give it some nice markup. So now whoever's going to come in here who already knows all this stuff because they're actually using this chip, so this is all very strange. But there we go. Gives you an example of also how to edit this. And finally, there we go. So blah 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 blah. Some good stuff there. Um, another page break here. Let's let's actually put a little line like that. Make it look all pretty. Perfect. Okay, I'm gonna hit the OK button, which is just off to the left there. You can't see it. And there's our. Uh, information, the description, and now all we have to do is save it. Great. And close that out and go back into Eagle. And when we look at the device list, that should be it. And blah, blah, blah. There it is. That's how to create that part in Eagle from a BSDL file. Thanks very much.